For the past 50 years, silicon has been at the core of every electronic device, from cameras to computers. Now, Vanderbilt researchers are building electronic circuits with an unusual material, diamond. The hope is to overcome some major weaknesses of current silicon circuits. Dr. Jimmy Davidson, who leads the research, explains. Let's uh, consider for a minute that electronics is nothing more than a manipulation of electrons from one place to another, typically called a source to a drain and doing something with those electrons in between the source and the drain. Now, modern electronics for the last 50 years have done that in a solid, typically silicon. That comes with baggage, though. Yes. When you have to move electrons, which like to be, literally like to be free, which they are in a vacuum, yes. through a solid, it's like moving a BB through a sea of bowling balls. Okay there's a lot of things get in the way of the electrons trying to get from the source to the drain. This is called resistance. This is why your laptop gets hot in your lap. When you can move electrons through a vacuum, like your granddaddy's radio vacuum tube, you can in fact move them faster and you can move them without generating heat and therefore there are advantages to the vacuum tube equivalent. A vacuum circuit could be faster than a silicon circuit, but is more difficult to build with most materials. Which begs the question, why diamond? The answer to that is, the old vacuum tubes, to get electrons to move in a vacuum, they had to use red-hot wires to boil them off. Diamond will emit electrons at very low voltages and no additional temperature. You use the diamond and the microelectronic size and you have the ability to do electronics in a vacuum at sizes that are the same as solid state. However, as Nikon Gosh knows, diamond is difficult to shape. Nikon is a grad student and was responsible for creating the diamond circuits in the lab. All the trials and everything, yeah, yeah. oh, that took long time. I mean, yeah, oh, probably two years, two and a half years. Once you, I mean, uh, get to the end, then it's really satisfying because all of your effort has finally, you got something. Today, the team is working on more advanced circuits. Recently, they developed a small diamond chip for NASA to use in hot environments. The goal is to eventually integrate diamond circuits into most electronics. They are devices that could be made faster. They are devices that could be made to operate at lower power. Because this is a new technology, it would require considerably more engineering effort to shrink it and integrate it in a manner that would follow something very similar to what silicon yeah. did between 1960s and 1990s or whatever. The fact is though, the devices, the fundamental construct of the devices can be shrunk and could be applied to mass production. Perhaps we will one day use computers made of diamond. For Inside Vandy, I'm Harrison Dreves.